What's going on? Travis Stetzel here with Train Aggressive and uh, coming at you here. Wanted to go over a quick routine that you can use to build strength, power, and conditioning all in one short session. In fact, the session only lasts 24 minutes. Um, so this is a perfect go-to routine if you're short on time, short on space, and short on equipment. Because all you need is a single kettlebell. And if you really, really needed to, you could actually swap in a single dumbbell um, if you don't have access to kettlebells. But uh, kettlebell is going to work the best for this routine. And like I said, it only lasts 24 minutes. Alright, you're going to work strength, power, and conditioning. What you're going to start off with is three power movements. Alright, so we're going to be working power movements with your kettlebell. And the way you'll set this up is you're going to go every minute on the minute. So for the first minute, we're going to start off with a kettlebell swing. Alright, you'll do 15 reps. As soon as you finish those 15 reps, you'll rest the remaining amount of the minute. The second minute in this first set of uh, uh, three movements is going to be a dumbbell or a kettlebell push press. So we'll go six reps on one arm. We'll go ahead and go six reps on the other arm. Okay? That'll be your second movement. Third movement, we're going to do a single arm power clean. Alright, so that's going to be working kind of our pull. Alright, and you're going to go six power cleans on one arm. Six power cleans on the other. And you go through that cycle three times, so a total of nine minutes. So you're only resting the remainder amount of the minute. So you're kind of working conditioning right there. But we're focusing on power-based movements here with our kettlebell swing, push press, and our power clean. All right? Once we get through that nine minutes, we're going to take a one-minute break, and then we're going to move on to our strength session which is going to be the same setup. So every minute on the minute for nine minutes, first movement, we're going to be working a strict kettlebell press. All right, so a strict kettlebell press. Second movement we're going to work is a front rack kettlebell squat. So now we're working our lower body a little bit with that movement. We're going to go six and six on each movement here. And then our last movement, we're going to do a bent one arm kettlebell row. All right. And that'll take care of your strength session. And then to end things out, we're going to do a kettlebell Russian swing Tabata to finish things out. So we'll take another minute break, and then we'll finish off with a four-minute Tabata, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, Russian swing Tabata. So that's going to really crank the heart rate, push the conditioning, and uh, that's going to finish the, thing, uh, the session out. So let's go over these movements here real quick with our first section for our three movements. So our first movement is going to be a kettlebell American swing. So we're working some pure power here. So with this movement, we're going to hike the kettlebell back, use the hips. We're popping that kettlebell all the way overhead, locking it out nice and tight. So you're going to be hitting 15 reps kettlebell American swing. Once you hit your 15 reps, you'll rest the remainder of that, that minute. Second movement that we're going to hit is a kettlebell push press. So for this, we'll go ahead and power clean your kettlebell up first. We want to start in a good rack position here. And from here, we're going to dip and drive and use our hips to press that kettlebell overhead. Bring it back down to the rack. That's one. Dip, drive, we can cycle it faster if we want. Once we get our sixth rep, we'll go ahead and set it down, power clean it up on the other side. Boom. And you'd get six reps on that side. You'd rest the remainder around the minute. Then we're going to power cleans. For power cleans, kettlebell starts on the floor. Go ahead and squat down, get in a good position. We're going to use our hips to power clean that kettlebell up to the rack. That's one, return it to the ground, rip it back up, that's two. We'd continue for six reps on that arm, we'd switch arms, get six reps on the other arm. Keep on going with those three movements, three full rounds around. That would work our power. Then, after we go three rounds there, remember you're getting a full minute break. Then we're gonna go to our strict movements. So, first movement, strict overhead press. So again, we'll want to clean that kettlebell up to get it. Now we're not using legs. We're going to strict press it. 
So you want to squeeze your butt, keep your core tight. It's all shoulders. So we're pressing it overhead, pulling it back down nice and tight. Boom, I get six reps on that side, clean it up, get six reps on the other side. That's our overhead press. Again, we're going every minute on the minute. So once that first minute's up, second movement I'm gonna go into is a front rack kettlebell squat. So I'll go ahead and clean it up, keep it tight in this rack, and we're thinking squat. So knees out, <clears throat> spread the floor, keep the chest up, get your ass to grass, Drive up through those heels. Boom, I get six reps on that side. Rip it up on the other side. Six front squats on the right side. That takes care of our squat. Third and final movement in the strength series is gonna be a bent single arm row. So for this, I'll set up. Right leg will be in front. I'll be rowing with my left hand to start. I'll drop my left leg back. Go ahead and lean over the top of that front leg. Or if you want to make it more challenging, put that arm behind your back, get your chest nice and low, and we're going to pull from the foot to the armpit, <clears throat> driving the elbow up, squeeze the back, elbow up, squeeze the back, boom. We're getting six on the left, boom, then we'll switch it up, six on the right. So that takes care of your row, and that's the third and final strength movement in the series. From there, one minute break. Then we're finishing it off with our conditioning, which is gonna be a Russian swing Tabata. So the main difference between a Russian swing and an American swing, American swing, we're ending up with the kettlebell fully overhead. Russian swing, we're just popping it out. It's all hips, okay? It's all hips with the Russian swing. Big hike, snap. Boom, your goal for your finisher there is to get as many reps as possible um, within your 20 second work uh, interval because you're going to have a 10 second uh, rest interval. So that's how Tabata works, it's 8 rounds, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, you're done in 4 minutes. So there you go, that's a full <coughs> routine that you can do, 24 minutes total, all you need is a single kettlebell, a little tiny 4x4 four four space. So you can do this in your basement, your backyard, front yard, wherever you need to do it at. You can get it in quick and you can work power, strength, conditioning, all in one. You're hitting all areas. So uh, let me know what you think about that. Give it a go. And uh, as always, go 110% ham, live and train aggressive. I'll see you on the inside.